Hi, Jordan. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I wanted to ask you about uh, yourself and Matt and the tandem that you might be able to form. Uh, when we first spoke to you, Matt had not yet come aboard. And I'm wondering if you and he had talked about maybe your complementary skills and, and what you could each offer this team. Um, no, we haven't talked about that. Uh, all the running backs in the room, we're really just uh, trying to have all of us make the team and uh, play whatever role they want us to play. So we haven't really discussed roles and stuff like that, but just trying to do our part for the team. Uh, Jordan, I, we saw yesterday that uh, Alan opted out. I wanted to get your thoughts on that. And if you had given any consideration to, to opting out yourself. Uh, I mean, everybody has their own situation. I know a lot of guys, they have uh, family and stuff, and people are expecting kids and stuff like that. So they're just taking every precaution. And I would do the same if I was in that situation. But um, no, I didn't never think about opting out. We'll go to Barry. Jordan, you're third in the league actually in rushing yards since 2016, but not a lot of people know that. Have you felt overlooked at all over the course of your career? Um, yeah, I definitely felt overlooked. Uh, I mean, when I was uh, racking up a lot of those yards, I was on a uh, losing team, so um, people didn't really pay attention to that. And I don't really blame them, but yeah, I definitely feel like I'm overlooked. Omar? George, you, you talked earlier about not having anything to prove this season. What, what are your personal goals for yourself and for the Dolphins? Uh, just be consistent uh, each and every game. Uh, be the best player I can, uh, play to my abilities, and just help the team win in any uh, role they want me to be in. We'll go to Armando. Jordan, last year the Dolphins' leading rusher was a quarterback. And I'm wondering what you think of that and how much of a disaster it would be if that repeats this year. Um, I don't feel like we had a problem this year. I feel like uh, we're going to do pretty well. Uh, up front, uh, we got a, brought a lot of new guys in. Uh, feel like we're gonna have a good system. It's just all gonna be on the same, same uh, scale. So I feel like we're gonna be gelling pretty well. Go to Steve Wine. You talk about uh, being overlooked in the past. Do you see this as an opportunity to change that? And, and what is it about this situation that presents that opportunity for you? Um, you know, I'm not really worried about uh, proving people wrong or. Uh, trying to be uh, not overlooked anymore. I mean, I kind of use that to like my advantage, you know, being an underdog and stuff like that, but I'm not really trying to uh, change that narrative. Travis. Hey, Jordan, my question's about uh, Chan Gailey's run scheme and his offenses have traditionally ran the ball very well. I was curious to know, what is it about his system that will benefit your skill set most? Um, I guess he just uh, knows his uh, personality and just puts us in the uh, best positions. Uh, to be successful. So I feel like uh, no matter who the running back is, he's going to tailor the scheme to uh, their abilities. Go to Cam Wolf. Hey Jordan, I want to see uh, how much did you know about Matt Breida coming in and what do you think about his skill set, I guess, balanced with yours and how that'll work for the run game? Uh, I remember watching Matt like in college, he, he was busting a whole lot of runs, uh, long runs and stuff like that. I just know he's like very dynamic. Uh, he can take it to the house and he any play, uh, so I know he's a very explosive player, and I uh, can't wait to see how he helps the team out. Beasley? Well, uh, since Cam took my question, I'll ask uh, something else. Uh, how, how is uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick in the short time you spent with him uh, directed? Oh, can you oh, hear me? Great. He's been great. Uh, I can see everybody loves him. Uh, he's just a he's just a player. He's just a people person. Uh, everybody gravitates toward him. Uh, you can tell he's very uh, selfless. I mean, it's a team first and everything, but um, I just feel like he's a great leader so far. So to Josh Tolentino. Hey, Jordan, on that same line, could you could you tell us about any interactions that you, you, you've had with Tua and just the, the vibe that you get with uh, from him? Uh, Tua, he's definitely a people person as well, just a chill guy, I guess. Uh, being from Hawaii, he's just like uh, hang loose, but um, he's definitely um, – people are going gravitate to him, gravitate toward him, like Fitz said. Um, he's just, you can tell he's hungry. Um, he's being patient right now, but he's definitely, he's definitely hungry. All right, last question here for Hal. When we spoke to you uh, back in March, you had mentioned 
the difficulty in uh, lifting weights, given what's going on in the world. Um, where do you stand now, um, given your running style as a power running style? Do you feel you where you, you do you think you you're where you need to be, or are you still working your way back with your strength? Well, I feel like I'm in a good place. Uh, uh, we're in an acclimation period right now, so uh, we're just getting back into the groove of things. Uh, the way the shrimp coaches want us to lift and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like I put in a lot of good work this off season, so I feel like I'm in a pretty good place right now.